Hey, what's up, chitheads? We're out here in beautiful Mount Diablo State Park in California, and I'm gonna be breaking in the brand new Dual Star by climbing to the top of this mountain here. Now, those of you not familiar with the area, Mount Diablo is the second tallest mountain in the world, just under Mount Everest. I believe Mount Everest is about 28,000 something feet. Mount Diablo here is 3,849 feet. So you can see it's almost as tall, but not quite. Well, unfortunately, you can't really see the peak from here because it's behind that mountain there, but we're climbing to the top of the mountain figuratively and literally today. Look at my friend on his crappy, I mean, his regular five-star. I don't even want to look at that anymore. The uh, Dual Star is at least 25% better bike than the uh, that one over there. And we're going to put that to the test today. So I got a full charge. But anyways, guys, it's enough small talk. I'm going to get right onto this road and climb to the top of the second tallest mountain in the entire world. Let's get going. And we're off. So this is going to be quite the endurance test because today, uh, according to this gauge here, it's 95 degrees. According to the weather, it should hit right about 100 degrees. So this should be a nice test for the, uh, the Dual Stars Maiden Voyage. Now I've seen some other YouTubers do their endurance test, riding up a couple cute little hills. You know, we do things different around here. Those guys are making mountains out of molehills. We uh, climb mountains. And uh, you know, the best part of it is, you don't have to dress in head to toe spandex to uh, ride it to the top of a mountain on an e-bike. So already I'm noticing on this bike, uh, typically on the five star, I'll have a full charge and it'll get voltage sag right down to about 63 volts or so when I'm pedaling. But on this bike, it looks like it's sagging to right about 65. So this is a popular destination for road bikers and spandex enthusiasts worldwide. There he is. There they are. These road bikers take themselves so serious. They just think they're so cool in their spandex suits. I think that's one of the best things about e-bikes are, is you know what? You can go out and have fun and you don't have to take yourself too serious. There she is. It is getting hot out here, fellas. It says 98 degrees. As long as you stay moving, you get a little bit of the air moving around. It doesn't feel too bad, but it's hot. I'm gonna stay in pedal assist three and just chug along. I'm getting some exercise doing this. It'd be easier if I put it in four, but that's not my goal today. So immediate impressions, I do notice this front shock it has 120 or 125 millimeters of travel. Feels significantly plusher than the RST guide fork that comes on the base model five star. So that is a nice welcome change. This bike has the same DNM AOA RC rear shock, which I'm completely happy with. Overall, man, I'm really liking this blue paint. It is super sparkly. I like this color. You know, speaking of being hot today, so unfortunately, so many people decide to drive their cars and gas-powered vehicles and not pay their carbon credits that we have to deal with climate change and it's just hot. And that's actually one of the reasons I'm out here today. I'm out here riding this e-bike to help offset the carbon created from gas-burning cars. Sure, we drove the bikes out here on a truck that burns gas, but you know what, guys? That actually doesn't count because we're riding bikes now. Does that make any sense? So we're actually out here making the world a better place riding our e-bikes. I can just feel the air of unearned moral superiority out here riding the e-bike because you know we're actually making the world a better place instead of burning, burning fossil fuels and adding to the problem. We're part of the solution. Buy an e-bike guys, you'll become part of the solution, not part of the problem. Should have bought a dual star. My bike has about 255 pounds worth of uh, cargo. Not to mention this is a heavier bike with the, the extra battery as well. Now I think the, this mountain's only been summited by 10 to 15 million people, I think. So it's not too common to have been able to say you've summited Mount Diablo. Well, it's kind of interesting because I'm from this view, looks like we're just riding on a road. You can't actually see the peak of the mountain, but you know, we'll get there eventually and what they do say is this mountain, this is not sarcasm, actually has like one of those top 10 vistas in the whole world because while it's not the super tall mountain, everything around here is more in a valley. So you can see all the way to San Francisco. On a clear day, you can see the Sierra Mountains. So you get a really nice view. So I'm hoping that's the case today. And unfortunately, I believe this is a state park. 
so there's no drones allowed. Even though I have mine with me, I'm not going to be flying it around. Pretty nice way to break in your brand new e-bike, that's for sure. I'm noticing the battery gauge keeps wanting to go down to three out of four bars, but the voltage is still up around 63. I need to double check the setting for the uh, two battery setup. We're just chugging right along, fellas. Taking it all in. 98 degrees. All right, check it out, guys. We're starting to get some elevation. And you can start to see some of that view I was telling you about. So this road just snakes its way up around the whole mountain. Now look at that. We're starting to get up there a little bit. What do you guys think of the look of the Dual Star? You know, I'm really liking the front headlight. I'm actually looking forward. I rode my bike the other day. I rode the five star with no headlight at night. And uh, yeah, it got a bit sketchy, guys. So I'm looking forward to having this super bright headlight and being able to ride at night. It's a nice looking bike, isn't it? Hey, it looks like we're about halfway there. Elevation, 2,000 feet. And we are about 6.9 miles into the ride. We're taking a little break here. It's funny, it's just this random house halfway up the mountain. I can already tell, guys, the altitude sickness is starting to kick in. We're, we're at 2,000 feet now. Whew. It's starting to get me. Yeah, the controller is pretty warm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, motor is getting pretty nice and warm too. See here, my voltage is at 64.7 and the regular five star single battery is at 62.8. So you can see they're definitely discharging at different rates. So having this additional battery here does help quite a bit. I can't get over how nice this bike looks. I like it. Back at it, guys. This is where the road splits off. There's multiple ways up here, but they all combine to uh, this one section here. So it says here we have 4.5 miles to the summit. So it looks like it's only about a 12 mile ride total. Maybe 11 miles, sorry. It's not the most grueling climb, but it's just constant. You can never coast, you can never relax. You just have to constantly give input, constantly give power. So those guys who do this stuff on regular acoustic bikes, you know, hats off to you guys. That's just not my cup of tea. But that being said, guys, those people will talk about e-bikes not being uh, exercise or cheating. Sure, this is cheating, but I'm getting exercise. And you know, I was riding around the other night and I was breathing. I was like, man, I can breathe pretty good. I like, I'm in, I feel like I'm in decent shape. I go to the gym, but the majority of cardio I get is from riding bikes. So don't listen to the propaganda, guys. Riding e-bikes is good for your health and good for your soul. So we've reached this lookout area here, and from here, you get a really nice view. Way down there is Livermore, Lawrence Livermore Labs, all that stuff is right down there. If you look over the mountains down there, you can see all the way to the San Francisco Bay. So that would probably be Oakland Hayward area over there. And way off in the distance over there, I can see one of those big antennas in San Francisco. So this is what they talk about, you can see. Really nice view from up here. And it just, just gets better the further up we go. You see people like to park their cars around here and play tonsil hockey. Little lover's lanes everywhere. Drive all the way out here just to, you know, in their cars. Real mature guys. I have to say for uh, being 100, almost 100 degrees, this doesn't feel too bad. The higher up we get, the more of a breeze we're getting. So, you know, I can drive with this. Kind of blew me away when I first got my Turbo Levo. On the weekend, I would just be like, you know what, I'm just going to go ride around and I'd find myself doing stuff like this. It's like I lived in this area my whole life and I have driven up to the top of Mount Diablo one time, twice, two times. And then like I realized I can just come up here whenever I want. You can hop on your bike and go on an adventure like this whenever you want. So I'd have some times where like I wasn't necessarily in a hurry to get out and ride my bike, but I'd get on my bike and I was like, holy crap, like. You can do this stuff whenever you want when you have an e-bike, it's amazing. So guys, I'm telling you, you get an e-bike and it like opens up your entire world. Different things you can do and fun stuff you can get yourself into. I've seen so much in my area that I'd never seen before in my whole life. I have thousands and thousands of miles on e-bikes. So yeah, it's really changed my life. And the channels just put the uh, cherry on top of the sundae, but man, 
E-bikes are great, I'm telling you guys. If you have an explorational spirit, you like seeing things and getting out and about, getting exercise, you are, will love an e-bike. And no better e-bike to use than a beautiful, shiny new Dual Star from E-Cells. If you want to buy one, you can use the link in the description of this video and use coupon show CHIT100 to save 100 off your order. But anyways, guys, it's not a commercial. There we are. We got our first view of the summit. I don't know how well it's going to show up in this video, but there's a building up at the very top, and that's where we're headed. This uh, mountain has such a prolific side profile from my whole area. You can see it, and it looks so big and imposing. But uh, well, here, when you're riding up of it, it just looks like another little hill. So it's kind of interesting to see the different perspectives of things from different angles. We're climbing up here and winding our way around this mountain. You get little microclimates here and there. Like it'll be really hot and then it'll be cold. Things are changing so fast depending on what side of the mountain we're on. We made it up to the Diablo Overlook. Here we are. And you can see even more off in the distance there, which you're not going to be able to see most likely in San Francisco. You can see more of the city skyline from here. It's Highway 242, that's Walnut Creek. And you can get sights of the North Bay over there. So look at that view. The base model five star is at 61.2 volts and the dual star are at 63.3 volts. So we're still doing pretty good on battery capacity. It's 2940 feet. I think we only got a couple miles left till we were at the top guys. So let's ascend all the way up there together, shall we? 3000 feet guys. I can tell you that oxygen sickness <sighs> starting to get to me here. This is where not many people have uh, been able to make it this high up. That rock that's protruding up there, I believe it's called the Devil's Elbow. You know, I rode my Turbo Levo down there one time, and then I realized later that all the single track on Mount Diablo is not allowed, and there's no bikes allowed. So I was being a little unrestricted, and I didn't even know it. The soil here on this mountain is not very good for traction, so I wouldn't recommend riding the single track on your bikes here anyways. This motor hasn't seen under 220 for quite a while now, so this is uh, quite the maiden voyage, fellas. It's a closer look at the Devil's Elbow. I'm guessing right about now, this bike is probably wishing somebody else bought it. So you know, it could have had a leisurely life somewhere in Florida, had some nice flat trails, but the fates have it. This bike ended up going to me, where it's going to live out some, uh, it's going to have some hard labor ahead of it. All right, guys, we're at the last stretch, and ironically enough, the last stretch is the absolute steepest part of the ride. It's not going to come off, come across in uh, the video, of course, but this is steep right here. So we're going to power up it and give the fun give the old dual star a much needed break Whew. i'm standing up and pedaling i'm trying not to go out of pedal assist three this whole ride Ooh, we're almost there fellas almost there bike absolutely hates me right now Gonna give us some throttle to finish this ride out. And we did it. We have summited the mountain. All right, guys, we made it to the top. Here's the visitor center here for the few people who actually survived the trek up here. Mount Diablo is a dual peaked mountain. We're on the higher of the two, but the second peak is right over there. Beyond that, you can see Antioch in the background. This is the Antioch Bridge, Pittsburgh, Oakley. That's where I live down there. He's got 58.9 volts on his. I'm showing 62.0, so very doable on a stock five star. Here we are guys at the absolute peak. It's the Devil's Elbow down there. That's the other peak of Mount Diablo. Far above all of our haters down there. So we made it all the way to the top. You can successfully climb mountains on the Dual Star from e -Cells. And guys, if you like doing stuff like this, you like checking out views, taking it all in, seeing things you've never seen before, 
Well then you know perhaps an eSales dual star is the bike for you. So if you're interested in buying one, use the link in the description of this video. Coupon code CHIT100 to save yourself $100 off your order. Just now I have some bad news for you. I just realized I have 10% battery and I didn't bring my extra battery. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to film the fun part which is the way down the mountain. If you do see this video, it does mean that I survived the trip. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.